Part two, yeah. We're going to talk about the, the, the eel nuclei decay graph thing. There's definitely a better scientific name for that, but... Uh, this graph here, can you just explain to me what the heck is uh, this thing? Yeah, so it's just a graph of radioactive decay, mm -hmm. and the different colors are different sort of decays, Yeah, which are these four over here. Yeah. Okay. And the goal for all of them is actually to move towards the black one, which is the stable region. Okay, so the black is stable atoms. Okay, yeah, and everything else is just unstable isotopes. Yes. Okay, awesome. So how do we, how do the decays play into here? If we look at the board now. So the two things that you want to focus on is yeah. your protons and your neutrons, like how they're changing. Oh yeah, and yeah, what are these horizontal bars here and vertical bars here? Yeah, so the horizontal bars are um, stable protons, or like your number of protons stays consistent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. your vertical lines are your neutrons, and mm -hmm. that's where the neutrons like stay consistent. like the number of neutrons is consistent as perfect. we move down. Awesome, perfect. All right, so um, based on each decay, what kind of movement would you cause along this chart? Yeah, so we made this little cheat sheet, basically. Mm -hmm. So for alpha, we know that we're um, losing to Actually, neutrons pause right here, protons. pause right here, check it with yourself. When you do alpha, beta minus, beta plus, what happens? What are, you, what are you losing, what are you gaining? Hit pause and then come back and check with us. Okay, one more thing, Raha has the longest name that of any student I've ever had. So I just <laughs> need to put this on YouTube. Raha, what, what is your full name? Hi, um, my full name is Raha Zima Al Zahra Binti Abu Bakar Sadiqin. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, that uh, totally okay. makes sense that Back it's to distracted. Things, so, okay. Okay, assuming they hit pause. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'll do this one and then yeah. you can do yeah. the other two. So for the alpha one, we're losing two protons. So basically, this is. A good way to understand it. Okay. So if you're losing anything, okay, that's losing, not tensing. Yeah, <laughs> down or down. left. <laughs> so so if you're losing, you go down or left on this chart right here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So because you're losing to um, protons, you go down to for alpha, and because you're losing to neutrons, you go down to left. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of like the general movement that it would be making. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So what on this graph would be alpha decay then? It would be the yellow one. Yellow. Cool. Can you just point to it and show the diagonal movement going left? Yeah. And down then, left. Yeah. Down, down, down left, left. Into down the black left, region. Down left. Perfect. Yep. Thanks, Raha. No problem. Cool. So now let's talk about beta minus. Yep, beta so minus. So we know that beta minus <laughs> the cheat sheet is um, it's going to go one up because it's going to gain a proton. Beta minus shooting out an electron, so a neutron becomes a proton. Yeah, so it's yes. going to gain, gain a proton, proton, but then it's going to the left because it's losing mm -hmm. the electron. So because it's wait, wait, we're going to the left because it's losing neutron. Neutron. Neut sorry, neutron. sorry, yeah. cut that out. It's yeah. losing a neutron. Uh, neutron became proton. Yeah, yeah. because mm -hmm. the neutron becomes a proton. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the reason why beta minus it's like kind of like up and left. So uh -huh. here yeah. it would be the pink region because mm -hmm. it's going up and left, up and left until it reaches the black region up here. And left, up and left. Okay. Yeah. So pink is beta minus, pink and the next minus. one is beta plus. All right. So we know in beta plus is when we lose the positron. You're shooting at a positron. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. the po uh, like the proton becomes a neutron because it's converted due to being like stabilized. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna lose 
that and go one down and one to the right. So lose a proton and yep, gain, a, a, neutron. gain a neutron. Okay. So it's going to go down, right, down, right. Down, right, down, right. Which is the blue region. The blue. Yep. Perfect. Yep. And then as you can see, uh, all three decays have very unique movements on the uh, chart, the yield chart. Yeah, and that's how you can quickly pinpoint it. Uh, gamma decay, I personally don't really understand too well yet. Um, so we're actually not going to talk about that, unless you guys know anything about it that I don't. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Come on, Professor Duffy. <laughs> okay, all right, cool. Uh, and then we didn't mention anything about like neutrinos and antineutrinos because it's not, that's not really too important for our class. So yeah, thanks so much, guys. Um, you guys want to give a shout out to any of your student groups or anything? Good luck! Good luck. Are you... I'll support Barman. <laughs> the, the what? The what? Barman, Boston Area Modeling Imagination Conference staff at... That was a really long abbreviation. <laughs> staff Barman 10, guys. <laughs> okay, Staff Barman 10. What about you, Ali? Are you, in, are you part of any student groups or anything? Uh, Omega Phi Alpha Community Service Sorority. Woo! Community yeah. Service. Oh, yeah. Do the Barman cool. do community service. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Alright, thanks guys. Good luck on your exams. Alright, as always, if you like this video, make sure to like it down there, let your friends know. And uh, if you'd like to support these videos by s donating as little as like $1.50 a month, you can do so down below at my Patreon link. See ya!